Tower Akios or Storisius was Byzantine emperor from July 26 to October 2, 811 in succession to his father, Nikephorus I, who had fallen at the Battle of Pliska. His rule was cut short by a severe wound suffered in the same battle, and he was forced into retirement in a monastery by his brother-in-law, Michael I Rungabi, where he died soon after. Life the son of Emperor Nikephorus I, Staurakios had been crowned as co-emperor by his father in December 803. The chronicler Theophanes the Confessor, on top of stating that he was completely unfit to become co-emperor also claimed that Staurakios was guilty of rape, a claim perhaps colored by his hostility to Nikephorus I. On 20 December 807, the Athenian Theophana, a relative of the deposed Empress Irene, was selected by Nikephorus as Staurakios' wife from a company of young ladies, assembled from around the empire in a bride show. The two were married that same day. During his father's reign, he had been given command of the elite tagma of the Hyrcanatoire. Staurakios participated in his father's expedition against Crum of Bulgaria in 811, and barely escaped with his life from the disastrous Battle of Pliska, in which his father was killed. However, Staurakios was paralyzed by a sword wound near his neck and was saved by the Imperial Guard which retreated from the battlefield towards the safety of Adrianople. Fleeing with him were his brother-in-law, the curapalates Michael Rungaby, the domestic of the school Stephen, and the magistrus Theoctistus. Gathered around Staurakios's bedside, they debated the succession. Because of his uncertain condition, he was hastily proclaimed emperor by Stephen, who had the backing of the army. This was the first time an emperor of the Eastern Empire had been crowned outside Constantinople. At the same time, however, Theoctistus had been pressing Michael Rungabi to claim the imperial throne for himself, given Staurakios injuries, and his being the son-in-law of the slain Nikephorus, Theoctistus believed he was best placed to deal with the imminent Bulgar threat. Michael, however, continued to support his brother-in-law. Meanwhile, to secure his accession to the throne, Staurakios presented himself feebly before the remains of the Byzantine army at Adrianople and sought to reassure them by indulging in some criticism of his now-dead father, which met with their approval. Staurakios was soon taken by litter from Adrianople to Constantinople. Due to his debilitating wound, paralysis of the legs and constant pain, it was quickly evident that Staurakios would be unable to exercise actual authority. As his condition worsened, the court was split between the factions of his wife Theophana and his sister Procopia, who hoped that her husband, Michael Rungabi, would be chosen as the emperor's heir. As he had no children of his own to succeed him, it soon became evident that Staurakios intended to designate Theophana as his successor. Under his wife's influence, he began to freeze out both the domestic Stephen and the magistrus Theoctistus, and to ensure the transfer of power, he attempted to have Michael blinded on 1 October 811. This act was frustrated by the actions of Stephen. There was also a popular rumor that Staurakios planned to abolish the empire and re-establish a republic. The supporters of Michael, which now included both Stephen and Theoctistus, as well as the patriarch Nikephorus I, who was alarmed at Staurakios' plans to pass the throne to Theophana, forced the emperor to abdicate on 2 October. Hearing of the accession of his brother-in-law, Staurakios took holy orders. Before being escorted from the palace, he was visited by his sister Procopia, brother-in-law Michael, and the Patriarch, all of whom justified their actions by the fact of his severe injuries, whilst Staurakios reproached them bitterly, in particular the Patriarch. Staurakios retired to a monastery where he died from the effects of his wound on January 11, 812. Michael Rungabi became emperor as Michael I.